As long as we have electricity and computers, there will always be IT jobs. What's up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video. And in this video, we are going to be talking about why the IT industry is a recession proof business. Now, I know some of you guys are thinking there is no such thing as a recession proof business. And guess what? You are absolutely correct. There is no such thing. But I'm going to give you five reasons as to why I believe that IT is recession proof. And so without further ado, let's get into it. All right. So reason number one, for as long as we have electricity and computers, there will always be an IT job, ladies and gentlemen. So for the foreseeable future, as long as there is a way to generate electricity, either by, by way of oil, water, solar, wind, or however we're making electricity out there, there is always going to be a computer lying around somewhere waiting for somebody to do something to it. So as much as some of you all like to fantasize about going back to the Stone Ages, guess what? That's not about to happen anytime soon. And the reason why it's not about to happen is because we all have grown accustomed to staring at the screen of a smartphone. People love their smartphone so much that they will sacrifice their children in order to keep their smartphone secure, ladies and gentlemen. That's just how much we've become addicted to these devices. And with that being said, this is one of the main reasons why IT will forever be around so that somebody can ensure that everyday people out there will have the ability to stare at their smartphones every five seconds. Reason number two, every aspect about our lives, whether it's personal or professional, is connected to the internet somehow. So being that we all can't live without our smartphones, our tablets, our iPhones, pretty much everything about our entire existence is connected to the internet. Your social security number, date of birth, credit scores, home address, dating profiles, professional profiles, your criminal record, random messages when you were trying to slide into somebody's DMs, everything is connected to the internet somehow, some way. If you live in a first world nation like the good old U.S. of A., it is almost impossible to exist and operate in this country without a digital footprint somehow, some way. Nowadays, if you come around people talking about you don't use the Internet or you don't have some sort of social media profile, people will begin to look at you kind of funny style like, uh, where did this person come from and what's really going on here? And so being that this is the case, this is going to be why IT workers are going to forever be in need, because we are going to need people around to ensure that we can keep these digital footprints going on and on and on to the break of dawn, ladies and gentlemen. Reason number three, the safety, security and stability of our nation and economy is heavily dependent upon information technology. For this particular reason, all we have to do is look at how the coronavirus has caused our economy to pretty much come to a screeching halt over the last few months or so. Millions of people have filed for unemployment, but a lot of employees who didn't lose their jobs, they came to realize that those 40 hours a week that they were putting in inside of the office, sitting inside of that cubicle could have easily been done from the comfort of their couch as they got their Netflix and chill on as they signed into their work laptop. So if you know of someone who does work from home via telecommunication or telecommuting, I should say, well, that is only possible because there are a bunch of IT workers out there who put the infrastructure in place to allow for all of that to happen. Everybody from the people who laid the fiber optic cables to the regular cables that run the people's neighborhoods, all the way to the people who are tasked with setting up the VPNs for workers so that they can securely tunnel through a public Internet infrastructure to do their job. That is all a part of IT. So being that this country has just discovered how much work could actually be done from the comfort of one's home. Well, the IT infrastructure that makes all of this possible is going to need people to keep this thing running smoothly and efficiently, which means there will always be a job in IT to ensure that this is possible. Reason number four, as technology becomes more advanced in terms of robots, well, guess what? 
somebody's got to be there to code that stuff up, maintain those robots and fix them if they break down on, on us. Right. So thanks to the uh, former Democratic presidential candidate by the name of Andrew Yang sounding the alarm that the robots are coming to take all of our jobs, which is true, by the way, to a certain extent. Guess what? There is still going to be a need for people out there to write codes and algorithms so that these robots can come take our jobs. So even as the robots get more and more advanced, we're still going to need people who can go out there and monitor how fast these robots are progressing so that we don't turn into a scene from Will Smith's iRobot movie that came out back in like 2004. So another thing to think about here is when most people think about robots, they probably think about some George Jetson, Ro Rosie the robot maid running around doing jobs that was once thought that only human beings can do. Well, the reality is robots come in many different forms. So here's an example of what I mean. So every time you guys go to Walmart and then you are ushered into the self-checkout aisle, well, that machine that is scanning your products could also be classified as a robot. And even though this particular robot may have replaced a human cashier, at the end of the day, the self-checkout robot is still going to require a human being to come by and give it a tune up every now and then and to make sure that it is working properly and efficiently. So guess what? There are going to be tech jobs available for people to fix the cashier robot. And finally, reason number five, there are still literally billions of people who do not have access to the Internet, but yet they want access to the Internet. So believe it or not, y'all, there are still hundreds of millions, if not billions of people around the world that don't have access to the Internet and they want to get some. So you could take the continent of Africa, for instance. If you guys don't know this, there are over 2 billion people that live on the continent of Africa alone. Out of the 2 billion people that live there, roughly only 250 million have access to the Internet. So guess what? The continent of Africa presents a major opportunity for tech workers to bring that continent online to where everybody who lives there could possibly get access to some type of Internet. And when those hundreds of millions of people do come online, you know, they're going to want to participate in social media and e-commerce just like the rest of us to the point where they will eventually find themselves walking around staring at their smartphones every 30 seconds like we currently do right here. So guess what, ladies and gentlemen, being that Africans who don't have access to the Internet and other countries around the world who may not have access to the Internet, there's going to be a need for IT workers out there in these streets, ladies and gentlemen. So is IT a recession proof business? Absolutely not. There is no such thing as a recession proof business. But I will say that IT is probably one of the safest career fields to enter into to where you don't have to really worry too, too much about losing your job. But even if you do lose your job, depending upon how skilled you are, how much education and experience you have, it should be relatively easy for you to find another job in IT. Now, will you be doing something identical to what you were currently doing prior to you getting laid off? Who knows? But my whole point is there are a plethora of IT jobs out there. And as long as we have electricity and computers, guess what? There is always going to be a need for IT, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments below as to whether or not you think IT is a so-called recession proof job. Share your thoughts down below. And with that, I will holler at you guys on the next video. Peace.